Hey, what is up, everybody? My name is Rahul, and in this video, we'll be looking at a couple of challenges in the substitution theme in the Pico CTF Capture the Flag competitions. Now, the channel description says that a message has come, and it, but it seems to be all scrambled. Luckily, it seems to have a key at the beginning. Can you crack the substitution cipher? Now, before we get into the solution, let's just nano substitution 0.txt, which is the scrambled file. Now, there are a lot of things that you consider while using substitution ciphers but this is one thing that is the most important thing now here you'll see what happens in the substitution cipher is that there is a direct mapping so for example all the a's in the actual file will be replaced by suppose zly d so everything that is in a will be will be replaced by d and everything that is in d will be replaced by some other character but the characters will always be fixed so for example uh, a might have been replaced by p B might have been replaced by A, all the C's might have been replaced by Q. So this is the key that we'll be using. And either you can use Python for this, but for the sake of this video, we'll let's use online substitution. Let's just Google it. First of all, substitution cipher online. And for this matter, let's just use this website called decoder.fr. Let's just paste in the key because we know that what the key is. Okay, I'm sorry. We know the key what the key is. Let's just remove it. We know what the key is. And let's just copy the entire part out. Um, okay. There are other ways to solve it as well. But for the sake of this video, let's just go with this. As you can see, we get the key right away. So this is the flag for this uh, challenge. Now, let's just look at the second one, which is substitution one. Now it says that a second message has come in the mail. It seems all, almost identical to the first one. Maybe the same thing works again. So let's just see. Okay, nano substitution one dot text. But here you'll see that there are a lot of scrambled words, but here you cannot find the key at, at all. So one of the things that you can try to do is, is called brute forcing or frequency analysis. So what happens in frequency analysis is you find out the frequency of each word and then try to figure out which word might have been replaced by another word now th we can also do it with the help of python here but for the sake of this video let's just use substitution cipher online and let's just use a simple handy tool called planet calc so substitution cipher decoder let's just paste it here and let's just try to calculate it now what this essentially does is it's fine it finds the frequency of each letter and then looks up in the directory or the dictionary that which word is the most occurring one and then replace it, it with try to replace it with another word now here you can see that it brute forced the key with the help of frequency analysis that's a whole other topic for some other time but here is what we get so let's just copy it again and paste it in the new directory and let's just look at the third file which is substitution 2 here you'll see that again we have some message that we have to break it so let's just cut out substitution dot text and let's just see if we are able to break into it so what happens in substitution cipher is the, the bigger the um, cipher text that you have the easier it gets to break it so let's just see if we get it again again you, this can easily be done with the help of python but for that you'll need to have a working knowledge of the words that are most frequently that words that appear more frequently in the in english alphabets so here you'll see that we have the flag once again so thank you guys this is it for the video